Stu's on the telly. Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So we're, we saw a little bit of a late kind of turnaround in the equity markets last night as a number of Fed members came out and said that they would have actually supported a rate increase for September and uh, put the kind of case forward for a December rate hike. So. Um, we kind of saw the US dollar gain a little bit of momentum against GBP and Euro and uh, begin to push up a little bit higher toward against um, uh, dollar Japanese yen. Yeah. Um, those kind of <laughs> off the off the session highs well, that I gave I equity markets a little bit of uh, a little bit of support. We pushed up that little bit higher there on the US there. Yeah. Well, I can't uh, but not capitalised so far this morning. Uh, with the Germany 30 and the UK 100 both kind of slightly ticking down this morning yeah, after some decent gains exactly. overnight. China was uh, was back up. Australia was, is, is slightly down currently, and Hong Kong 43 is also slightly higher as well. So potential resistance at 17.034 still remains in play. Yeah, We're trading above the uh, 21 period yeah, SF, SMA. Other technicals are relatively neutral, but MAC the histogram is, is declining. And um, short term potential support could be seen maybe at the tips of these candles, around about 16.46. So moving on to the UK 100. And the UK 100 uh, probably actually has itself uh, uh, an interesting range developing between 60.73 and 62.69 um, and we're at the bottom end of that range right now trading below both moving averages especially that 21 period SMA right there the 60.73 spot uh, 20 looks to be the potential support which was the low that we made back in October 2014 um, again MACD histogram declining and the MACD uh, looking like it could cross over at some point in the next couple of sessions should that pressure remain in the UK 100. Candle a little bit different from the US 30, we are way, well away from the session highs, pushed right back down again. Um, and if we have a look at some of the commodity prices, crude's slightly up, gold's not doing a huge amount. I was maybe t taking a look to see if, um, if, if oil and mining companies were having a bit of extra weight on the UK 100, but those commodity markets actually look like they're okay. So looking at Japan 225, um, you can see that we're uh, still in the middle of two ranges, or three ranges, so you've got this, uh, this 18648 right here. 14,500, uh, uh, yeah, 17,500, sorry, at the bottom. And um, we've probably got a really old one. As a matter of fact, I don't think that's even valid anymore. So I'm going to say that we're in between these two ranges right here. Trading below both moving averages. Other technicals are relatively neutral. Obviously, Japan has got a big um, close relationship with China. That slowdown for China would have an impact on Japan 25. And dollar yen's not been doing a huge amount over the last couple of days. Uh, so the yen's been losing a little bit of value as the US dollar has been moving up in the right direction. So moving on to dollar yen. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Dollar yen. Again, kind of, I guess a bit similar to Japan 25 in the middle of two ranges, 121.87 is potential resistance, 118, 119, sorry, that's potential support. Also linking around the 21, the 21 period SMA, other technicals are relatively neutral uh, with those Fed comments from two different Fed members. Not giving a massive uh, shot in the arm for dollar yen, but enough to push it up a little bit higher and away from those session lows. So looking at crude, um, West Texas crude, uh, decent day yesterday as um, are we actually coming up quite close to the crude oil inventory data on Wednesday, um, which people are maybe expecting to show a slight decline in uh, oil inventory. So that's caused a little bit of a push up there on West Texas crude. We're down a little bit lower this morning. Uh, 45 spot 85 is a potential support. We've just crossed the zero line on the MACD, which should be a bullish technical signal. The other, te the other uh, technicals are relatively neutral. So finishing up there with uh, with gold and then the major FX pairs with gold, uh, because of the comments from the Fed has pushed that back down uh, below potential support 11.37. Uh, we're getting quite close to those moving averages. We, we did just cross the zero line with the MACD, that should be bullish, but the fundamental factors are maybe changing slightly. And the Fed does raise rates in December, which would still be kind of surprising to be honest. That's not going to be positive for gold. Euro dollar uh, coming off a little bit more aggressively now. The euro, um, these are if this pattern holds, this would be three black crows. Uh, it is getting slow, uh, smaller bodies of the candles actually, but one spot 11 would be the potential support level to be aware of, with one spot 1475 being resistance. Other technicals relatively neutral, and then finishing up with GBP USD, similar similar pattern, just not quite as aggressive for for the uh, GBP. Uh, one spot 56 is potential resistance. We're trading below um, that 55 period SMA, but we're above the 21 period SMA, which would coincide with one spot 54.24. 
and the other technicals are, are neutral as well. So economic data wise, you've got UK public finances at 9.30 UK time, followed by consumer confidence flash data, uh, CCI at 3 p.m. UK time. And then it's all about Wednesday with a huge amount of PMI data, but it's the, it's the Chinese PMI data, 2.45 a.m. UK time, uh, which a lot of traders will be looking at. They're expecting contraction, forecast 47.5, Anything less than that wouldn't be so great. But you can see the previous one was 47.1. Forecast is slightly higher. Uh, let's see if we can break that cycle. Uh, as ever, guys, keep your eye on the chart forum. Make insights part of the going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.